Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. <laughs> Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. I can't put it towards how amazing this view is. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. So can we dig in? My mic is usually the happiest person ever right now. Why you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, the show that gives you an in-depth look at some of the coolest, most interesting spots all around the Lone Star State. I'm your host AC, and on today's show, we are tapping into the fall spirit. We'll check out a seven acre corn maze and race in our very own Mario Kart. But first, we're kicking off the month of October by visiting one of the scariest places in the entire state. So this time, we decided to send our very brave co-host, Ariel, over to San Antonio to check out this truly terrifying destination. From horrifying haunted houses to scream-worthy scare zones, Six Flags Fright Fest has become one of the go-to destinations for Halloween-loving adrenaline junkies all over Texas, and this year promises to be the most terrifying one yet. So I'm right here in Fiesta, Texas, where in just a little bit, it's going to transform into the much anticipated Fright Fest. And rumor has it that this year is gonna be different from years past. The attractions are gonna be edgier, much more terrifying and detailed, but all in a fun way. But before I jumped into the scares, I checked in with communications director, Sydney Purvis, to learn a little bit more about this year's frightening attractions. So Sydney, on a scale from one to 10, how scared am I gonna be tonight? I would say at least a nine or a 10. You've gotta be. I've gotta be. <laughs> okay, so our show was out here last year and our host, Erin, was incredibly scared. She gave me some advice, but what's gonna be different about this year? Well, this year we have six free haunted houses, five scare zones, a number of shows as well. And added to the mix, we have a brand new haunted house this year. Midnight Museum of the Macabre has strange curiosities and oddities. It's kind of a freaky sideshow that you go through. Brand new in Spasburg. Go through that, and then as you exit, you're in one of our scare zones, Wicked Hollow, with gypsies and witches. So it doesn't stop. The scare does not stop. No, you know what? The park is entirely transformed for Fright Fest. Soul Harvest is right behind us here. Okay. It's the brand new scare zone. You're kind of caught in an abandoned farmhouse feeling. And then we have House of Bones in the Zaragoza Theater. It's an entirely new show with a live band, which is terrific. Our entertainers are wonderful professionals. Yeah. I just, I'm so excited for tonight. And I'm definitely going to get back to you and tell you how scared I was. Absolutely. <laughs> You'll have to do that. So I decided to check out the Midnight Museum of the Macabre before it got too dark and trust me, you've never experienced a museum quite like this. It features a variety of disturbing remnants from past sideshows, gruesome exhibits with the goal to add a few new oddities to the fiendish collection. I am your host, Professor Caligari, and this is Midnight Museum of the Macabre. Now, if you are ready, please follow me. Next, we took a walk down the park to Soul Harvest, one of the newest and most spine-tingling scare zones, and we were just in time for The Awakening. Okay, so that siren that's going off, it goes off every night at 7 p.m., and it means they're releasing the monsters into the park, so yeah, things are about to get pretty intense around here. Then it was off to Blood Bayou, a haunted trail where you never know what is lurking around each corner. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I can't see anything. Ha! <laughs> hey! Yes, I think I am. <laughs> ah! I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, oh. Ah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Blood Bayou. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I've been to a few scare zones, a couple of haunted houses now, but I'm actually really terrified of this one because I don't like clowns, and that's all that this is, clowns. Welcome to Circus Berserkus, a terrifying display of demented clowns, sinister freaks, and horrifying creatures tormenting any living soul who dare wander through, including myself. <laughs> Okay, so apparently I'm gonna put these 3D glasses on. Mm -hmm. Super stylish. I'm gonna flash light to see what I wanna see. Scare myself, I don't know, I'm nervous. Uh, I don't know what's going on. scary. I may not be as brave as I thought. After all that screaming, I can't think of a better way to end the night than by getting a bite. So glad. That is delicious. And watching the new House of Bones performance. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Okay, so now that my heart rate is back down to normal, I'm going to head home and take a little bit of a breather, but believe me, I cannot wait to come back next year to see what other terrifying attractions they've added. Thank you so much to Six Flags. They truly terrified me and scared me, but all in a fun way. Ready for a spectacular time in San Antonio? Just visit the link below to learn more. We are just getting started here on Yolo, Texas. Next, we merge into the fast lane at Speed Sports Racing Park. <laughs> and later in the show, we travel to Hondo, Texas and test our sense of direction at the seven acre South Texas corn maze. You don't want to miss it. Hey y'all, welcome back to the show. Now here on Yellow Texas, we've always got the need for speed in supercars, ATVs, and roller coasters. You name it, you know we're down. So when we got word about a place just north of Houston that lets just about anyone participate in wheel-to-wheel -wheel kart racing, obviously we had to check it out. So buckle up as our Yellow Texas co-host, Brooke, heads to New Caney, Texas to check out the one and only Speed Sports Racing Park. <laughs> Well, if you think of karting and you think of that little go-kart place you went to as a kid for your birthday, well, think again because this <laughs> is not your average racetrack. And that's because Speed Sports is home to two separate outdoor tracks, each a course of challenging twists and turns and big enough to allow lots of passing, finding the right line, and a whole lot of fun. And for this course, you need a car that's up for the job. This car goes up to 45 miles per hour. A little bit of an adrenaline rush, something that will release your inner Ricky Bobby. So this is gonna be the fastest roller coaster that you will ever operate right here. <laughs> Are you sure? Cause I, I need to beat all these people. Look, I am positive, okay? If anyone asks what the fastest car is, this is the one I tell them. <laughs> Let's check that chin strap, make sure you got safety first. We're all good to go. So remember, right foot's to go, left foot's to stop. You got your steering. Perfect. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do this. With our pre-race instructions complete, it was time to hit the road. Oh, 
That was an absolute blast. I definitely recommend it for any event or company party, but for this next part, I think I'm gonna need a costume change. If you still want to go even faster, well, you're in luck. Speed Sports is also home to the Alan Rudolph Racing Academy. With bigger engines, smaller size, and better aerodynamics, these carts will reach speeds up to 70 miles per hour and are how lots of professional drivers get their starts, including my trainer for the afternoon and owner of Speed Sports, Alan Rudolph. You were kind of an expert. Tell me a little bit about how this place got started and what you do here. Well, I kind of call it my field of dreams. Um, I've been racing since I was nine years old. Carts has kind of been my passion for forever. You know, what's next in life after racing. And, and so I've always had a kind of a dream of being able to build, have my own racetrack, uh, my own school. So I had to put a group of partners together and um, created Speed Sports Racing Park. What's something about karting that most people don't know about? That's a great question. Um, karting, I, I say karting is kind of the hidden secret in motorsports. At the professional level of karting, it is the most intense, physical, physically demanding sport in motorsports out there. All right, so we've talked about the facility, but what else does speed sports racing have to offer? What can people do here? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I like that our tagline is uh, Houston's high speed playground, and that's really what it is. I mean, we offer a variety of different things here. Uh, the main thing is uh, what I call rental cart arrive and drive business, open to the public. And then beyond that is um, corporate groups. Um, as you'll see, there's we have a, a nice little group today here, 50 people. They're coming and having a meeting all day, followed by lunch and racing at the end and a cocktail party afterwards. Where else can you do that? In Houston or anywhere, really. Everything from what we refer to as a cart racing experience course, which is anyone can do that come out for a couple hours and experience the thrill of driving a real racing cart, which is what you're gonna to get to do in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's just simply a couple hours, 199 bucks, gets you behind the wheel of what a real racing cart is. So, it's, so we really have it all. It's Houston's high speed playground for a reason. Fortunately for me, the Racing Academy includes instructions on how to handle these lightweight racers. Everything from finding the right racing line, to braking, to controlling your body behind the wheel. Just call me Danica. Woo! Honestly, I could have spent the whole day out on the track, but all things must come to an end. And so finally, we had to call an end to ours. Those are seriously fast. Oh, well, I had so much fun today at Speed Sports. So if you're looking for your next party or corporate event, or maybe just want a chance at open wheel driving, this place is definitely YOLO Texas approved. My drive home is gonna feel a lot slower than today out on the track. Ready to chase the checkered flag? Go to speedsportsracingpark.com to learn more. Stick around because after the break, we try to find our way out of a seven acre corn maze. Wish us luck. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So when you think fall, what kind of things come to mind? Maybe a little pumpkin carving or a corn maze and maybe a few hay rides. Well, this next stop has all three and it just so happens to be right in the heart of South Texas. So come along as we have ourselves some good old fashioned fall fun in Hondo, Texas. Welcome to Graf 7A Ranch, home of the very popular South Texas corn maze. Located in Hondo, Texas, this family-owned farm has been taking fall to the next level for over a decade. From rides to food to some really cute animals, this place has everything, including a seven-acre maze promising to challenge even the savviest of adventurers. So to learn more about the family who runs the farm, we met up with Lori Graff. We want to know a little bit more about the history behind your land and, and the corn maze in itself. So how long have y'all been out here? Well, the maze has been here for 17 years. We started in 2001. My husband and I represent the fifth generation to own and operate the South Texas Maze Graf 7A Ranch. His family 
goes back to the 1840s wow. and we've owned this land and it's been in constant operation by the Graff family since the 1840s and our son and his wife and our daughter Justina they represent the sixth generation. Wow wow lots of great history behind these uh, this land right here. Yes. So now let's get to all the stuff that you have to offer out here. Okay. Not only is it a corn maze, but mm -hmm. you have other activities for the families to participate in. So what are those? We do. Included in the maze admission is the seven acre maze, the children's play area, the big Matterhorn slide mountain, the cow train, the hay ride, the wacky wizard, the jumping pillows. <laughs> there is a lot to do out here for all ages. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Wow, that is amazing. Amazing, you get what I did there? Yes. And I cannot wait to get myself in there and try to maneuver my way around. <laughs> it's fun, it is fun. We'll get you going in there. Well, there's a method to the madness that we'll explain when we get over to the maze. Perfect, okay, let's get over there. All right. But before I actually ventured into the maze, I couldn't resist trying out some of the farm's other attractions. Like, say, their giant jumping pillows. Yeah, I could definitely stay out here all day long, but do you see that mountain over there? That is the Matterhorn, and it has three different slides with an 80-foot drop, and we're about to check it out. After taking a few amazing rides down the mountain, I headed over to the Apple Launcher area to test out my shooting skills. We are just getting started. More from Graf 7A Ranch coming up next. Welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are continuing our trip at the South Texas Corn Maze, located right in the heart of the hill country. Up next, let's hop on a hayride for a relaxing cruise around the grounds. Then it was on to meet some of the farm's very adorable animals, including their resident goats. Look at this, this is so cool. Come here, little sticky babies. These goats are very friendly and love to make new friends, especially when you have some food. Look what I got. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, save some for the homies. Oh, yee. Yeah. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, take it easy. Meet them in person at the Goat Walk this fall. See, these are just a few of the animals that you can touch and feed when you're out here in South Texas Corn Maze. <gasps> They're all here. They're all my friends. I'm an animal whisperer. And one attraction you won't want to miss at the farm, the pig races. So we ventured off to see which little piggy would win it all. So after all of that, it led up to the main event, the corn maze. So before you go in, the farm gives you a themed passport. Then as you get to certain locations within the maze, you'll be asked specific questions which will, depending on how you answer them, either help guide you out or get you really lost. But this wasn't any ordinary maze, more like a labyrinth of twists, turns, and dead ends offering a mind-boggling puzzle that challenges you to the very end. 
Honestly, I thought I'd be in and out in a matter of minutes, but after a few wrong turns, I think it's been closer to an hour. Super fun and really feeling like I accomplished something. What was it like in there? It felt like I was lost in a giant cave and there was different tunnels everywhere. How'd you do? Good. But all in all, this place isn't about just one attraction. It's about an entire experience. An experience that is totally unplugged, that encourages you to actually use your mind and be active and just go out there and have a good time. Which I think in this crazy world is really important. All right, we're gonna end the day the best way I know how, with my pumpkin and my brisket taco. See you back in the studio. Interested in visiting this seven acre corn maze? Visit SouthTexasMaze.com to learn more. Now let's take a look at other events coming up, including the Peanut Festival taking place in Floresville the 9th through the 13th, and of course, the South Texas Corn Maze going on now through Thanksgiving weekend. Well, that's going to do it for us here on the show. Don't forget to follow Yellow Texas on social media. Like us on Facebook, follow on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And remember, it's a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you all next week. I'll talk to him like I talk to my dog. Maybe he'll come. Or maybe they just won't listen, like my dog. Oh, it is called very loud. I feel like I look like terrified.